Hello, Jason. Hi there, Andy. Hi. It's good to speak to you. Good to speak to you too. How are you doing? Uh, good, thanks. Yeah, we're we're having a public holiday today, so I'm I'm, I'm actually relaxing by the beach. So. <laughs> oh, hey. You're making me jealous. <laughs> well, as I said, um, you've got the greatest hits coming, which um, I was actually saying to the label here in South Africa that um, I can't believe that it's uh, you know that your career you know time has flown so that um, I know it's it's it's, it's weird because. Um, I mean, obviously, with, with, with sort of like getting all the singles together and like that, and doing like we've been going through old footage for the DVD. Yeah. And it's the first t the first chance we've really had to look back and everything we've done so far. It's amazing, and, isn't it? And it was really weird when 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 someone said to you, you know, oh, you've got sixteen singles, you know, and then seventeen including a new one. Yeah. My God, you know, it's like <laughs> it's at that time already, you know. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, it was just the other day, really, sort of, I think, in a lot of people's minds that uh, you know, Travis were were the yeah you know, the new kids on the block, really. Exactly, no, so it's, it's, it's great, it's been really nice just going through everything and sort of um, looking back on it a bit, because you, you don't get the chance to reflect a lot. No, 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 and I mean, it, it must be interesting too, because I'm sure everyone in the band has got a particular memory associated with, uh, you know, with with every single, you know. Um. Oh, definitely, I mean, it's, it's hard, I mean, it's like people go, oh, do you listen, do you, do you listen to yourself? And obviously, I mean, you listen to an album a lot when you're finishing it. Yes. But after that, you know, I mean, to go back to it, you, can, you can't listen to, like, normal music. No. It's no. like, I mean, it's because it, it, whenever you listen to something, it's always it, you're thinking about like the process of making it, you know, things that happened making it, and it's it's it's, it's very reflective when you actually listen to your own music. You can't just sit and relax and go, "Oh, this is a nice tune." You know? <laughs> True. Yes, you said they're ever ever critical. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, uh, in your mind, I mean, obviously, you know. Um, as you said, being probably more critical than most of, of what you've done, you know, w when you listen back to those songs now that you've got them in, you know, in an order and, yeah. and obviously uh, uh, being able to track them, you know, do you hear the progression? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I, th I think, that especially the, from the first record to the second record, I think it was a band that's still growing, you know? Yeah. And, um, and it's, it's, it's been really nice, you know, like, if, if you look through it all, yeah, there's definitely, it's just a band growing up. I mean, any band like that, you sort of grow up with public. Mm, 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 mm. And I mean, as I say, the the band has had a phenomenal um, success. I mean, not only in the UK but um, Europe and and further afield. Yeah. Um, again, as as you reflect over the songs, I'm sure you reflect over you know the popularity and the and 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 how things really at one point got completely out of hand. Yeah, no, wait a minute. It was a, it was it was amazing, and it was I mean, it was never really overwhelmed. Like the actual. The, the popularity is never the overwhelming thing. Yeah. It's the, the, the part where you've got to try and be everywhere at once. Yes. That is what gets you, you know. And um, I think, you know, before Neil, Neil had his accident, we, yeah. we, were, you know, we were quite, we were really tired by that point. Yeah. That was, that, that was a point when we were, you know, most fatigued really by it. Yeah, yeah. And then, but after Neil's accident, like everyone, you know, it took six months. And sure. I think that was very, um, that was a sort of defining moment for us. Yeah. You know, it's like everyone could sort of take stock and go, well, well actually, this is, you know, this is what we all want to do, you know, no matter mm -hmm. how, like, you know, you know, you can, you can sort of sometimes get fed up with it, you know, it's the yeah. touring aspect mm -hmm. of it, you know. Sure. But um, when you strip it down to what it actually is, we all love doing it, you know, making music. Yeah, and, and I mean... Why, you know, it's, it's what we were... But, you know, you feel it's, it's what we were brought to do. You think? Yes, yes, and I mean, I think you've um, you've certainly entertained your fair share of uh, the better part of the first world <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. in the process. Which I think, you know, I think from a you know from a from a band perspective, that must be quite you know quite quite something to sort of you know take in, where you think that you know your your music and and those songs have you know have affected people in in ways that you know you can't even begin to comprehend. Oh, no, definitely. I mean, mm. the, the, just getting to play around the world, yeah. to me, is still, like, uh, amazing, you know. It's still, it's, I still find it mind-boggling that you, you'll turn up in, in the middle of Germany somewhere and somebody wants to hear you play. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And they know exactly who you are and they and they mouth, you know, mouth the, the words to, to you know, every exactly. single song. I mean, it's, it's weird, especially, like, you go somewhere like Japan, where, you know, they necessarily can't speak a, a great amount of English. Yeah. But, but they know all the words to the songs. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 and I mean a, a personal, a personal highlight for you. I mean, when if you if you look back over it, I mean, is there anything that sort of stands out as being sort of a, a defining moment, you know, for you and the band? I think um, the, the moment for me when I realised that like what we've become and you know the the, sort of the, the, the scale of it was when in two thousand when we had Blind Glastonbury in Britain. Yeah. 
And it was like, you know, it was one of our biggest shows. It was like 100,000 people. You know? And you're just like that. Oh, my God, all these people are singing your songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this has got quite big. <laughs> quite big, yes. And I mean, it must, it must we're be... We're doing all right. <laughs> you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, true, because, I mean, I'm sure at some point you... Um, it, it must be difficult to sort of, you know, be, be normal with that, because, I mean, it, it is so unreal. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's real to us now, you know? I mean, it's, it's what you do, you know? So I think we continue being normal because of each other, because of our relationship. Yeah. Because we've, cause we've known each other for so long before it all got crazy. Yeah. Then that, that's, that's, what, that's what binds us, really, is a relationship between us, and that hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. And as long as that doesn't change, then we can keep, keep each other normal. Yeah, yeah. And it must be interesting, too, I mean, you know, if, if you think back to, you know, to, to when Travis started the... That, that whole sound has now, you know, it's certainly in the last, even, you know, it's in, in the last yeah. 10 years, has now become, um, so many bands have adopted a, a similar style, um, but they've, you know, they've they've taken what, what you started and, and ha have, you know, and... They've taken it somewhere new. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, so I think in many ways Travis is responsible for defining, you know, the sound that, that is so, so, so hugely popular today with bands like Coldplay and the like. Yeah, no, it's, it's been, it, I mean, it, that's, that's really gratifying, actually, to sort of think that, you know, you're partly responsible for music, to, you know, having another direction and mm. another aspect to it. Mm. And, um, I mean, certainly for us, we wouldn't have existed if we weren't out for bands like Oasis, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was, there was people, there was a lot of people that opened doors for us. Mm, mm. I was actually watching the Oasis Definitely Maybe DVD last night. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. Really funny. <laughs> no way. And I mean, I suppose, you know, like your fans and, and a lot of people think that, you know, that there's a, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a whole lot of science that goes t to what you do, but I think, you know, um, with bands like yourselves, when you are, you know, when you're real and true musicians, what comes almost comes naturally. And when when something becomes so huge that you you can't sort of think that something that which to you perhaps came, you know, just as a you know as a flow yeah, of consciousness. We can, we can plan it if we try. Do you know? <laughs> I mean, everyone always goes, you know, well, what's the next album going to sing like and that? We truly don't know. Yes, yeah. We go in and we just, we just do what we do, you know, you just you do, you try not to think about it, because if you think about it too much, it, it sort of smothers it. Yeah, 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 because I think it's very difficult for a band like Travis to ever be contrived, uh, or to create something that is, you know, remotely contrived, because, you know... We couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't if we wanted to. <laughs> Which is a blessing, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's like, it's, it's weird, you know, it's like, sort of, we, we just... From the moment we all sat down in a rehearsal room together, we just play together, you know, and, mm. it's, and it's and it keeps it fun. The whole word "play" is a, mm. is a fun word, mm. and as long as you keep that element of it, then no matter how you know how big it gets or how you know important it is to people, you've got to you've got to make it at source something that you enjoy making. Yes, yeah, and I think a lot of people will, you know, they I think that you know when when you, when you put a collection of songs together, you know. Um, your fans go, oh dear, you know, what's happening now? Is the band breaking up? Is it, you know, is this the oh, end? Oh yeah, we've heard that many times before. Yes, yeah. No, it's just, like, we got to the point where we, we thought, oh, my God, we've got 16 singles, we've released 16 singles. Yeah. So I'm like, well, it's 17 in the album, because it's a new one there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, that's, you know, what a point we've come to, you know. And it's nice to do, yeah, because, I mean, there's a whole bunch of people out there that still, you know, are not aware of, you know, um, you, you know who you are. They they may find your new song, but won't know the history. And then yeah, you exactly. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's it's nice to give people the opportunity to, to buy that. You know, so and we thought, well, oh, why not? Let's do this and sort of like mark this point in their career. And then I mean, we're, we're still moving on at the moment. It's weird because we're we're sort of in the process of starting the fifth, right, fifth record at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 rarely that we'll do interviews at this point. Mm -hmm. If it was just normally making a record. Yes. But um, because because of the singles collection, it's like you know it's sort of starting the process early. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fun because like you know at the, at the moment we're in rehearsing and trying new songs and sort of getting on with the next record. So. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, and for you, I suppose in a way you could say that it's the, you know, it's the closing of one chapter and and um, and the beginning, you know, of uh, of the second. Really? Yeah, no. I mean, I think it's just, it's just, it's just to celebrate where we've been and yeah. before we start moving on again, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, it's an exciting time to, to 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 be in the band, I'm sure. Oh God, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's great at the moment. We sort of been doing, with the with the new stuff. It's been really exciting. We've been in. I mean, we were in the studio anyway because we had to go in to do the new song for, yes. the, for the singles collection. So we we sort of like from that we started sort of like we started working anyway, you know. So we did about like sort of 
think we did about eight or nine songs when mm. we were in the studio for mm. that. Mm. And then we've been back and forward in the studio since then. Just sort of like, so it's, this is always the best part, and it's just it's just the germ of an album, you know. Yes. And, yeah. And it's it's really it's, it's the best part because it's really exciting. You don't know which way it's going to go. You know, you don't know what it's going to sound like. You know, you don't know what what road the songs are going to mm. take. So mm. it's, it's really, I mean, it's, we're in the best part at the moment. I love this band. And I mean, the nice thing too is that you know, obviously, you know, as you know, as, as you as you've grown and become sort of respected, you know, by, you know, I'm sure you have many of your peers that you've been fortunate enough to even to work with and, you know, over the, over the years that, you know, yeah. um, that must be a great place to be that you can almost pick and choose to a certain extent, you know, who you would like to work with and... and oh, I mean, we've worked with some great producers, you know, yeah. Nigel's amazing, Nigel's mm-hmm. a really inspiring guy to work with, Mike Hedges, mm-hmm. we've worked with again, and then we've worked with both Nigel and Mike in this new thing. Yes. And then... Um, Steve Lilly, like, you know, yes. I was buying his albums when I was, you know, like sort of 16. Yes, yes. Well, I, I was grateful for the last album because you, um, your 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 uh, photo shoot was, you know, was was done by Tom Corbain. So I just thought, okay, oh, well, yeah, the, I mean, you, you've I mean, arrived now. Amazing to work with. You know, <laughs> yeah, an absolute an absolute gentleman, and he's, he's the sweetest guy as well. Yeah. yeah, he's like all of that, like eight foot tall. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's, he's massive. But he's he's so sweet and, and and really funny to work with as well. Actually, it was it was really good fun those shoots. Yes, and um, and it's amazing just I mean to see yourself in an Anton Corbin picture. Yeah. Mm, 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 yeah, as I say, when you when you look at, I mean, I think what's nice about him too is that he has a, a great respect for the artists that he works with. So he he comes to you as a as a fan, and and you to him as a fan. So it's, exactly, yeah. I mean, I mean it, it, you know, it, he wants to create the best possible image of it. You know, yeah. that's, you know there's no there's no contriving. No. He just wants to make a great image of a band. Mm-hmm. And it's really it's really nice to sort of have that. You know, it's, yeah. have, it's, it, it, it's very ego free yes yes as i said and he has like well i suppose like you um you, you would have all you know you could argue that you have all the reason in the world to to have a bit of an ego but but um you don't which i think again is, oh, is refreshing uh, you know I, mean, I think i think that that's when that's when you start losing that's when you start thinking you're great you know yeah. i think any band has got to be striving for greatness rather than believing it yes 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 Yes. Well, Andy, um, thank you so much for your time. It's been it's been really really great chatting to you. And, uh, no problem. It was lovely to talk to you. And we and we look forward to hopefully getting you uh, down to South Africa at some point. Would be good oh, to have you play. Yeah, I'd love to. Yes, as I say, we've uh, got a couple of good shows um, lined up in the new year. So um, hopefully um, the promoters can can co- convince you guys to come down and, and give us a show. Excellent. Oh, it'd be lovely to see you. Well, great. Well, have have a superb weekend. And, and again, thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. Well, enjoy the beach. <laughs> I'll do that thing. Thank you. Cheers. Take, Take care. care. Bye-bye.